Hey, my name's Landon. My wife and I pastor a church in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And here in just a second, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful videos you will ever watch. And even though we're pastors, I really have a heart to see God bring revival to our church, our city, and the state of Wisconsin. When we first started pastoring, God just put this passion in my heart just to uh, read and learn as much as I could about Reinhard Bonnke. And he's somebody who God gave him a vision that the blood of Jesus washed over the whole continent of Africa. And God's given me a similar vision that the blood of Jesus is washing over the state of Wisconsin. But there's a video that has been one of my favorite videos that I've watched about Reinhardt's life. But there's a video I'm about to show you that's one of the most powerful videos. If you feel called to ministry or if you feel like God's going to use you to reach souls, you have to check this video out. I was dreaming. I saw a huge map of Africa. And then the next thing was, Africa became washed in the precious blood of Jesus, from south to north and from west to east. And I heard a voice cry. That voice was something extraordinary. I, I'm, I'm sure it was the voice of the Holy Spirit. And he cried, Africa shall be saved it was like a thunder. I woke up. I said, oh, that is wonderful. The Holy Spirit was in the bedroom. I felt the anointing of the Spirit of God. And then my German brain began to tick again. And I thought, my ministry has no impact in this tiny little country of Lesotho. And now I hear God say, Africa shall be saved. There's something wrong. I must have eaten bad bananas last night. But I had that dream four consecutive nights. And after night number four, I said to my wife, honey, I think God is trying to tell me something. The mission board of the Felberte Mission, to which I belonged, came to investigate the whole situation. And I thought they were pleased that I was doing so well. But then he took me aside and he said, you cannot go on doing this. The printing press, all my evangelistic developments, they wanted to stop. I was just to be a missionary like their other missionaries. They didn't want anyone to fry an extra sausage. You had to stick to the rules, be like everybody else. And now I was pregnant, kind of pregnant, with that vision uh, of, of, of bringing the gospel of salvation to the whole continent of Africa. So I was now s somehow in a dead-end road. I didn't want to offend my German superiors, but I didn't want to offend God. And then I decided to go uh, and uh, hire a room in a hotel uh, right there at the border of, of Lesotho. And I thought, I'm going to pray here until God has spoken to me. I, I fell on my knees at the bedside there and I said, Lord, for the sake of peace, please allow me to agree with my German brothers. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. And then the Lord spoke words that made me shake like a leaf in the wind. He said to me, if you drop the vision I gave you, of a blood-washed Africa, I have to drop you and give it to someone else to bring it about. I shook, physically, I shook like a leaf. I jumped up. I had been longer than one hour in that hotel room. It was a very short fast. I, I paid my bill, I jumped into the car, I drove home and I said, Annie, 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 God has spoken. Where's my typewriter? I'm going to write a letter to Velvet 
and I'm going to resign. Oh, and he said, can't you please sleep one night over it? I said, no, no, I can't. I can't sleep any night because God said he's going to drop me if I drop that vision. So I wrote my resignation and then peace, deep peace came into my heart and I've never looked back. Those very men who tried to prevent it later on congratulated me for not having obeyed them. So that is the blessed outcome. I really feel like there's a pastor watching this right now. And I feel like God's given me a word for you that God hasn't called you to grow a church. He's called you to impact a city. And there's other people watching. He hasn't just called you to impact a city. He wants you to impact a state. I believe that God's giving visions right now of your state that you live in, washed by the blood of Jesus. You know, I had a, a, a vision one day that God gave me and I saw mantles for revival in every state. And it was as if God was saying, who's gonna pick up the mantle for the state of Wisconsin or Tennessee or Texas or Virginia or Kentucky? There's these mantles just laying there. God's waiting on, hey, it's like Isaiah, when God said, whom can I send? Who will go? And I think that there's a mantle with your name on it. God's raising up people who will be his voice and who will be a part of the end time harvest of souls. Hey, he said the harvest is plentiful. It's not an issue with the harvest. He's looking for laborers. And I want you to know that our life is but a vapor. The Bible says that we're not promised tomorrow. Our days are numbered. Let's use what we have left to reach souls to build God's kingdom. Hey, if you like this video and you wanna see more revival videos like this, hey, hit subscribe, like, and share this with somebody else who needs to see it too. God bless.